In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an advertisement display slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this advertisement display a board here where I've added one ramp and you can add your text here. And then at the top, I've added the lights also here. So there are two displays from the left and the right side. So how this works is when I click either the image or text, whatever you like to display, it will come here. So let me just show you when I click. You can see here two different images has come and then the lighting effect you can see here so depending on your requirement you can add as many images as you want so i have created one more slide where i have added some different images here so you can see here this is the next slide where when i click you can see here a different images have come here so depending on your requirement you can add images you can add pictures you can add text so anything which you can uh, want to display here can be displayed and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 and 2010 some features might not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this shape the diamond shape select the diamond shape and draw the diamond shape depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to draw maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice all right if you want to keep some light color you can keep it and later on we can change it and then i'm going to give a 3d look for this for that right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects and you can see here there's something called 3d rotation click on that presets and i'm going to choose this one which is perspective relax moderately and just click it here something like that it will look it, it won't be visible because the background is white so what i'm going to do is i'm going to 3d format and you can see here the lighting and material i can just choose any lighting you can see here some lighting i have just created all right and then if you want to increase the depth of this one and you can just click on this one so the depth will be increased you can see here and then again if you want to just change something different more darker shade or more lighter shade you can just play with this the lighting effect here you can see here different lighting effect has been created now once this is done now the next step i'm going to add the rectangles for the screen to display the images or the pictures so go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here i'm going to draw maybe this much rectangle all right shape outline make it no outline and then i want to add a few more shapes for this for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose the this one which is the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical can you see here flip vertical just zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned you can see there's some gap so i'm just going to drag it so this is okay now and the same thing i'm going to add it on the top so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to place it here go to format rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and then just put it here all right so you can see here i've created this shape so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this and this and go to merge shape you can union it if you don't want to union you can group it but i recommend you to do the union shape all right now the next thing is i'm going to add the same screen to the right side press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here again rotate i'm going to make it you can see here flip horizontal and then exactly put it like this here all right so this is the screen design now it's time to add some background and then we can add image onto this particular area 
Now the next and most important step to do is first of all I'm just going to duplicate this slide so I've just right mouse click and I've just said duplicate slide so two slides have been created so I'm just going to the the slide the first slide which I've created then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to use a gradient fill so gradient fill you can use uh, three different colors you can see here the first one i've just used some white or the lighter gray and then i have used some dark gray here and more darker at the top all right so something like this you can see here i can just make something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to send this to back the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this blue area what the screen we have created from the one which we have just created this rectangle so select the rectangle, hold the shift key and select both the uh, this uh, screens and then go to merge shape. I can, you can see here I can subtract it. The moment I subtract, let me just zoom out. The one rectangle which you have created, it comes something like this. Can you see here? All right. So now the one which I have just created, I mean, I've made a duplicate slide. So I'm just going to select both of this. You can see here. Control C, bring it here, Control V, and even if you don't need also, actually, we don't need this also, but if you want, you can just keep it uh, for the, uh, for a purpose. Maybe what I can do is I can just use this one and then we can add the image into this one. Okay, so I'm just going to select this one and then just send this to back. All right. So now this particular you can see here this is the place where I'm going to add the image so select this one go to picture or texture fill because I have just added some image uh, that's the reason it's showing here or you can just go to insert if you have good images from your file from your PC you can just use this option from a file or if you want you can go to the online pictures you can see here for this you need a active internet connection so once uh, it shows all the pictures let me just wait yeah I can see here some I can say maybe some beach I'm going to select and maybe I need this beach image and click insert so you can see here this image has been added here and I'm going to select this again picture or texture fill insert online pictures and then I want to use uh, maybe some different uh, a car backgrounds you can see here maybe i need this one and insert so you can see here the images has been added here now once this is done what you can do is you can do some animations like animations for example let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i'm going to make it fly in you can see here fly in whichever direction maybe if you want from left it comes something like this and for this also i want to use the fly in and fly in from the bottom or whatever that should happen after previous so if i do a slideshow when i click it comes like this you can see here so now once this is done the next step we can do is we can add some lighting effect here so let me just close this animation pane i'm just going to fit to window this one and then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this one the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white let me just zoom in all right and then this one i'm going to rotate it you can see here i'm going to make it flip vertical and bend a little bit according to the screen size you can see here all right something like this and if you want to reduce the size also you can reduce it so this is one uh, light there on the top and here also i'm just going to add one more and then towards the right side also i'm going to add press ctrl d now bend it a little bit towards the right or the left you can see here and then one more control d and i'm going to add one more light here so you can see here i've added four lights here then i'm going to add the trapezoid again again go to insert shapes draw the trapezoid 
and you can see here let me just zoom again all right i'm just going to put it here something like this so this is the lighting effect i want to do the glare shape outline no outline and then right mouse click edit points and then i'm just going to adjust it properly you can see here all right now for this i'm going to give a gradient fill so select the gradient fill i don't want this gray colors so i'm just going to delete this one and this also i'm going to make it as a white all right and then the below one i'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here and this also i can make it somewhat transparent and this you can just move it up all right so you got this lighting effect press ctrl d to duplicate add it here again ctrl d duplicate add this one here and then you can right mouse click edit point then you can just change the direction all right you can see here something like this and then again select this press ctrl d add one more lighting effect here so you can see here the lighting effect has been added now the last thing we need to do is to add the animation effect so go to animations enable the animation plane uh, animation pane close the format background i'm going to select this all this you can see here one two three four by holding the shift key then i'm going to add animation which is the wipe effect so wipe instead of bottom you have to make it from the top and that should happen after previous so if i play now the first this will come then the light effect comes so like this you can add as many images as many slides you want for example i'm going to add one more so right mouse click duplicate the slide then i'm going to choose this one let me just close this go to format picture and here i'm going to change the image again so i'm going to choose a different image now maybe i'm going to choose some birds you can see here insert and for this i'm going to choose a different picture again maybe i can just choose uh, something like this all right so these two slides i've created the first slide comes something like this and then the second slide comes something like this again if you want to change the the picture from which part it should come maybe you can just make it from the left and from the right so whichever way you feel all right so something like this also can be done so there's a lot of things you can think of doing with this particular example and then at the end you can add some text here 